Hello again, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, and I want to pick up after our first tutorial on um, COBOL Windows forms and their creation with the coding for setting and retrieving values on the form. Um, it's really pretty easy. Um, if you have not seen the first tutorial that you was used to create this particular uh, project, then you should go back and watch that one as well if you have any questions on how these um, came to be. Um, so we'll go into here and the one thing I want to show is how you can actually um, at form load control the uh, the values of fields. In this particular case I'm going to continue to use our uh, our text box. Um, trying to show you where this information is defined is um, pretty easy. Um, as you know or may not know there are text boxes and there are properties and there are sizes and there's fonts all kinds of different information and different properties as were shown in the last tutorial are available to you. Um, all you have to do is define them within the repository. So for example, text is a property of a text box, a button, and so forth. And in order to define it so that the COBOL system can find it in this particular form, you go ahead and you create a property, you name it as whatever property that you want to work with. So in this particular case, we're going to work with property text, which points to the text property. And we'll come down here and I'm going to put coding into the form load which I just added. Be careful because it seems like this space is where you want to start typing. You want to start typing before the end method. So in this particular case, in our last tutorial I said we were going to soften up the uh, the press me button. And so I'm going to type in set property text of and we're going to call button 1, which is the name of the button, 2, and I'm going to put here N for national character set. Uh, you probably want to use the national character set if you're going to use strings and formats because what winds up happening is it's a two byte um, character set, it's Unicode, and it actually kind of saves the, uh, the compiler and so forth um, and the runtime sometime in terms of translating. So you can go look more on help on that on the national character set. So set property text of button one to N, and we're going to soften it to be a press me so it's not shouting at us so much. Not all uppercase. Now one thing you'll notice is all these are lowercase. All right, button one is the right name for it. Your set property text of, like C sharp, needs to is case sensitive as well as this. So all of this is case sensitive. So if the 2 was not in uppercase, it too would not work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a build here and we're going to get an error. You can notice it says user word set is undefined. Okay? So we'll make that set. I want to build again. You're going to see another error. And I'm just pointing these out so that you can see what could possibly come up. It's telling you property text is undefined. It's undefined because it's all lowercase. So I want to make that property text and I'm not going to make it painful for you. Um, of needs to be uppercase as well. And if we made this a B, that way the name of our control is that actually button one. It's going to tell us again that property text is undefined. The truth of the matter is is that it doesn't know what property text is because it can't find button one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make that button one it's just something to look for and we're going to say build. Okay, so now when we run, and we'll show this in a couple um, phases, the um, when this starts up you'll see press me in a uh, soft form. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll pull this down and notice it's in soft form. Not shouting at us. Okay, now our next piece is you have the ability to do functions. So let's open up our form. I'll close this out, close this out. And it's events. You have events built right in. Okay, just like your form loads an event, this is an event on your button click. And since I know that it needs to be case sensitive, I'm going to go ahead and do that right away. Set property text. And remember what we were do wanting to do is we want to set the, the property text of the label label one 
Now that's the proper case to property dash text of, and in this particular case, um, I got to reverse that. We want to set property text. Now we're doing this correctly of label one to property text of t e x t b o x one. And that's what I wanted to show you is that text box one needed to be upper case. And we'll go ahead and we'll build and we'll see if we have any errors or anything we need to resolve. Sometimes it's nice because you get to explain what the problems are. And if we run, press me, nothing is in here so nothing shows up. ABC, press me, ABC shows up. And you can animate through here if you like. Um, and if you wanted to, you could create a value up in working storage and you could set that value in working storage for ROM for this particular case. Uh, and so another option that you can do is you can set what's called IntelliSense on and we'll cover that real quickly here. We're going to go to our tools, our options. In addition to IntelliSense, you can force the upper case of things. Uh, so we're going to go to text editor, we're going to go to COBOL and COBOL specific is where you find it and I'm going to set automatic uppercase of conversion for keywords that's your of, your to, and so forth and an uppercase of user defined words just like your program ID, your working storage, and so forth. Um, IntelliSense is actually fulfilling an automatic properties list. Remember the properties of your controls? We click that, we press OK and the next time we go to type something, so if I was to start this off with something other in the, um, let's call it the button one again, we'll set lowercase, notice it uppercased it, property dash text, and again that value is not a user defined word, so that one you have to make sure you have, but I want to do something for you. Set in this case, we're just going to put button one. Notice the it prompts you with IntelliSense, and I want to set button one. Um, what should we pick here? Let's continue with um, our text, and set button one T E X T. So it automatically fills it in. to n colon press here. Okay, and you'll notice both things both both things will happen when this runs. Now we can do set property dash text as another example of button one. And if I press my space bar here, it's going to automatically jump me forward. If I don't really want the length because that is a uh, property of, of text. Um, that you can use. I just press the escape and I put in two and I'm going to make it I know this doesn't all make sense that you wouldn't code like this but it's for the example purposes. And uh, we'll go ahead and compile do our build and I'm going to run and watch all the changes that wind up happening. I want to put in hello Joe. Press me. It says hello Joe. And notice it says press here with the hyphen in it which is this code here which wound up executing. So that's a way that you can set um, values and so forth. And if you wanted, notice I used the word set statement which is kind of like a move statement. Um, if you wanted to set working storage values, you would do the same thing. You would come up here, you'd put a value in working storage, and say set working storage item equal to the property text of whatever it is that you want. And that'll wrap up um, tutorial number two on uh, Windows Forms building. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and it's been helpful. And uh, as always, if you have questions, you can contact uh, the Alchemy Support Center or you can reach me at matt underscore moser at mosersoft.com. Thanks.